So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Uh, apparently DigiCert, which is a organization that issues SSL and TLS certificates, has now announced that it's gonna go through what's called a mass revocation of the certificates because of an apparent bug that was discovered in their system. The bug has been in the system since 2019 and they recently discovered that bug. And that bug has to do with an underscore associated with their verification system. Yes, believe it or not, there is an underscore that is kind of cause or is causing a whole lot of trouble, not for DigiCert necessarily, but for possibly thousands of website owners. Now, if for those who don't know, if you own a website, most probably you have had your hosting service issue you an SSL certificate. If you own an app, uh, that app also possibly has an SSL certificate. So the SSL certificate is kind of like the encryption algorithm in the middle, or it's an encryption layer between your website and uh, the, the internet as a whole. So when someone tries to access your website, you know, all that information is encrypted so that you know, even if there is a man in the middle attack, uh, the encryption is so strong that the information that's downloaded from that connection cannot be decrypted. And the same goes for if you own an app. But the DigiSearch search system, or DigiSearch system, is warning that it, there will be a mass revocation of SSL and TLS certificates owing to a bug and that bug mainly has to do nothing to do with you and me, but it's with DigiCert, but we might end up suffering from this outage or uh, whatever downtime this may cause because when there is a revocation of the certificate, uh, it will possibly take the, many of these websites down, which means that if you were ranking well or if you were trying to rank, this will affect your rankings. We also know that Google kind of doesn't like websites that are and don't have an SSL certificate. If you're not sure if you have an SSL certificate on your website, you know, just go to www.yourwebsite.com and if you don't see that padlock in your browser, it means you don't have that SSL certificate. Um, there's a different way of verifying if it's, if your app has a certificate. Now, this news comes in from the bleeping computer. And the bleeping computer, uh, and this is what they say, the news is warning that it will be mass revoking SSL TLS certificates due to a bug in how the company verified its customer owned or operated a domain and required impacted customers to reissue certificates within 24 hours. It is unclear how many certificates will be revoked during this process, but the company says that it approximately, but there is approximately 0.4% of applicable domain validations that have been conducted between August 2019 and 2014. So a good 15 years. DigiCert is one of the most prominent certificate authorities that provides SSL TLS certificates, including domain validated DV, organization validated OV, and extended validation EV certificates. Now, these certificates are used to encrypt communication between a user or a website and, or an application and a website. So this is what I explained, and this is also in the news piece. So one of the methods to use to validate domain ownership is to add a string with a random value in the DNS CNAME record on the certificate and perform a DNS lookup for the domain to ensure that the random value matches. This has been made like a lot simpler than it than the whole process is, but this is essentially how it works. So um, the, cert the certifying authority or the CA over here needs to verify that the domain uh, is really, really owned by the person that it is registered to and it's not just someone else. And so in order to do that, it adds a random string uh, or 150 bit, I believe, uh, integer value with an underscore to, to with an underscore and the domain name, and it goes ahead and looks up that in the DNS. And if the value is matched, then you know that is the owner. Now, for the CABF baseline requirements on the B, the CABF uh, CABF is a regulator, and their requirements say that a random value should be separated by the domain name with an underscore. Uh, otherwise, there is a risk, risk of collision between a domain and a subdomain used for verification. So if you also have an SSL for your subdomain and SSL for your main domain, they will have to be verified separately apparently. So recently, and this is a quote by 
uh, DigiCert. Recently, we learned that we did not include the underscore prefix with a random value used in some CNAME based validation cases. This impacted approximately 0.4% of applicable domain validations we have in effect. Uh, under risk, C, uh, under strict CABF rules, certificates with an issue in the domain validation must be revoked within 24 hours without exception. And this is what they were not doing. So they were not reworking this because apparently uh, there was a system update and I'll put the screenshot of where it says this. So apparently there was a system update on their end and the underscores that they use to verify uh, the uh, legitimacy of the domain order and the domain name was removed from the system. And so they were not using the underscore. So in order to fix this, they have taken the following actions. They have reviewed all consolidated all domain value generators, simplified their user experience to eliminate the need for manual underscore addition, embedded compliance teams in development sprints, uh, expanded test coverage for compliance-based scenarios, plans to open source DCV to community review by November 1st, 2024. But here's the banger, and it is that they are then required to generate. So if you've been affected, you will be notified. But if you have purchased your SSL certificate or CSR uh, has been, or your SSL certificate mainly comes from your uh, hosting service, you would not know if this is an issue. And so your hosting service will have to be, have to proactively regenerate that security certificate and re-implement it on the service. So hopefully this is sooner than later, because it says here, it should be noted that the server will be, will be revoking impacted certificates within 24 hours. Uh, if the process is not completed before then, it will lead to a loss of connectivity for the website or application. So your website will be in, 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 inaccessible. Believing computers contacted DigiCert to ask how many certificates were impacted, but has not received a response yet. So we have no idea how many websites will be affected. And honestly, there's nothing that you can do on your end. But if you see your website, if you go to Google Search Console and there is a sudden dip in the amount of traffic, click, impressions that you're getting, you know, that could be a possibility that your certificate has been revoked and you would have to contact your hosting service and then they would have to go ahead and fix the certificate if the hosting service is from where you got it. If you got it directly from DigiCert, then you would have to regenerate that certificate. So log in, go and regenerate it, go through the whole process once again. It's frustrating, but that is computers for you guys. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video.